Hello and welcome to a different type of video for me. Today I'm going to be showing you what I did last weekend because it was a beautiful glorious day and I took my son out to a flea market in Sydney hoping to find some big box PC games or some vintage computer hardware. First of all we started off, saw some creepy dolls, before we even came into the main market here's uh, some CDs and some DVDs but we did see some computer game equipment here, nothing really to interest me but they did have this old motherboard and graphics card I think probably from the Pentium 4 era, a little bit too new for me I'm really interested in something a bit older if you've seen any of my other channel uh, videos so here we see big pack of computer games, really some good titles was in here Tiberian Sun would have been pretty cool 13 is pretty cool but I don't really like buying just the game CDs like this oh what's up with this horse did you just buy that it was a bit strange seeing a little pygmy horse anyway those are just the front stalls let's uh let's follow this old chap and get into the market proper first stall on the right as I came in through the gate is this pretty modern IT store some kind of good gear here I didn't really ask him for prices too modern for me a lot of cushions on the left and this Lebanese seller over there. Ooh, some nice, nice oranges, nice orange tree. Lots of old paint. Ah, now this is more like it. So there's a few places or a few stores in this market where they come in and they just dump a heap of shit onto a table or onto the floor and then you rummage around it. So here you go, look, there's a couple of old PlayStation 2 controllers there. But look what I find. In here in this plastic bag is a creative sound card. I'm not sure exactly what it was. It didn't take too much time to look at it. The guy was asking for five bucks and I, I passed on it because I've got lots of spare sound cards at home. Moving on, saw this quite interesting racing wheel for the place. PlayStation, the original PlayStation. Quite good nick. Mad Cat's one. Box isn't too tatty, it's a bit dusty, obviously hasn't been used in a while, but it's pretty solid steering wheel look. Didn't really decide to take it. I think they were asking for 15 but Look here, this is just heaps of old rusty old plastic on the floor. Like who's gonna buy that? Some more orange trees. This is the middle of winter in Sydney, but I guess it's a good time to uh, buy a lot of plants. Some stuff. Seems like a lot of people are also selling a lot of old shoes. I don't know, uh, not really what I want to come to the market and buy. I'm not that interested. Um, lots of tools as well. This looked pretty strange to me. Like, why is there a big cage of pigeons there when the main stall is just selling lots of uh, tools? Did find this store. So this is the first game specific store. Prices were quite eBay-ish. Nothing really surprised me there. So this caught my eye, the World Wrestling Federation hat. Kind of interesting. And then some more hardware. So some more computer hardware. This was interesting. I guess a graphics card from about 2009. Bit too modern again for what I'd like. A GeForce GT. TS 250 overclock edition quite beefy who knows if that would work though but not really too interested in that and then a heap of newer motherboards I guess Pentium 4 maybe even a bit newer than that I didn't really look too much into them but what I did spot over here was some interesting old speakers power beat model p10 I tried to google that nothing comes up because uh, dr. Dre's beats <laughs> results kind of uh, come ahead of everything but it did look into them I was, I was kind of half tempted but when I pulled it out it's very lightweight speaker not much weight to it. it wasn't yellowed or anything though there's another computer case too uh, too new for me but this store was quite interesting it had a NES class um, I've already got one so didn't need to pick that up there were some PlayStation games I'll come to that in a minute but I did spy all these old Mac laptops but they're all pretty bad shape right they're all open and there's a case here but a, a bit too new again I'm looking for something like Pentium 3 or below but here were the PlayStation 2 games they also had a couple of PlayStation 1 games in the box but this was the first thing I came across I didn't really want to spend all my money I did buy a few of the PlayStation 2 games so at the end of the video I'll show you what I brought check this guy out he's uh he's having a rest I think he was actually working on that stall <laughs> and here's some old cassette tapes heaps of old Indian sing-along cassette tapes now here's the first piece of stuff that I'd probably be interested in and this was actually a PS2 mouse look at that so shiny guy was asking 15 bucks for it though it's pretty weighty um, I told him I'd come back later and think about it 
some Lebanese sweets. There's a bit of a Lebanese neighborhood here, so the market's uh, got a lot of Lebanese and also Asian influence on it, which is kind of cool. There's loads of nuts. Flavored nuts starting to make me a bit hungry. Should have got some, but uh, in the end, I don't know why, I went and bought this cheap sausage roll when I should have bought something nice and warm, probably from this store. I actually gave it to my son. Thankfully, he wasn't too sick. Now this guy is selling some Zimmer frames and a heap of electronics. I don't know if he just pinched this all out of an old people's home, but there's a Wii Fit board there, an old uh, camera printer. Looks like some, a lot of fake PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games there. I'll kind of give them a pass. And down here there was an Xbox in a nice Xbox bag. I was kind of tempted because it had that DVD receiver in the front. He also had some PC games here, but these are the smaller boxes. Some kind of good titles there, but I do like to collect the bigger boxes. Moving on, there's a few more PC games here. A particular title took my attention there, apart from the DVD ARs. I should have got some of those actually. But uh, the Super Meat Boy, I thought this could have been quite an interesting one, but uh, I ended up putting it aside, I didn't take it. I was pretty surprised to see some beaver at the market this time in the morning, but anyway. And here's an IBM PS2 keyboard. Bit too new, but good to see. And this looked pretty cool, it was some kind of soundboard. To be honest, I wouldn't know what I was doing if I did take that. Lots of birds for sale. And then inside the covered area, here's another packet of CDs, lots of productivity software. And then finally we see our first beige-ish kind of computer. Kind of looked at it, the guy had no idea what it was. I had a look on the side, it was an Acer, it was a Celeron, wasn't too interested. It's quite disappointed. I almost bought one of these religious motifs. Particularly interested in getting the uh, modern version of uh, Mary, Mother of Jesus there on the left, but I decided against it. And then the last store that I came over, still with my sausage roll in my hand, actually had one of these digital Mavicas. Um, it's a FD73. I've got an FD71. Uh, it's got a nice bag. I was kind of tempted by the bag, but it's 20 bucks, so I kind of gave it a miss. So what did I end up buying? Well, I ended up just buying five PS2 games and some Thomas Tank Engine toys for my son. No PA, PC hardware today, but it was still really enjoyable just to walk around the markets and have a look around. So do you guys go market, flea market, thrifting? Do you get to see anything? What have you picked up recently? Like, it is good fun. You never know what you're gonna find. Always worth it. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the video, have a look at some of my other content and see if you're interested in subscribing or watching more. Catch you in the next one. Bye.